in the last lesson we learned that we can communicate with hardware that the only language that hardware understands is machine language that different languages are used to communicate with hardware and translator software is used to translate those languages into machine language today we are going to learn about computer language translator software translator software called assembler was used to translate programming written in assembly language into machine language and two translator software were used to translate programming written in high level languages into machine language one of them is interpreter and the other is compiler now let's see why two software are used to accomplish the same task An interpreter translates one line at a time while a compiler examines the entire program and translates it into machine language at once. This is why the compiler is faster than the interpreter. Interpreter does not generate intermediate code while converting a program and compiler generates intermediate code. That is when the compilation is finished another file has been automatically created therefore more memory capacity is required during conversion by compiler once a program is translated by the compiler it does not need to be translated again and again and when the program is translated by the interpreter it must be translated every time the program is executed After an error is displayed while translating a program by the interpreter the error must be corrected in order to translate the next statement but the compiler shows all the errors at the same time while converting a program cannot be executed without correcting all those errors and while the compiler is more efficient is converting a program it is difficult to find errors but while translation of a program by interpreter is less efficient it is easier to find errors considering all these points there are pros and cons of both interpreter and compiler it is important to know about both these converter software in order to decide which converter software we should use according to our needs 